Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Max Prime. Tonight, today, tonight, whatever you want to call it, whatever hour it is, we're going to review Batman and the Three Jokers. Man, was this a good comic book. And just before I even get into it, I want to give you a spoiler alert. If you have not read the comic book, definitely go read it. Get it from your, uh, I don't know if you get it from comic book store now due to the thing. Get it online, read it. Um, it's out now. Go to DC Comics website. Um, let me tell you that this writing, this book starts off with a, like a crazy, well, so let's get right into it. Anyway, uh, Batman, we see crashes into his own parents' grave. He's wounded badly. We see Alfred. Alfred helps stitch him up. Alfred's basically going, telling him like, you don't mind having another scar. As we see Batman scarred, so many battles, so many wounds that he has on his back. I mean, bullet holes, knife wounds, uh, sh shark bite or a uh, gator bite from Killer Croc, like everything. Like Batman is so scarred up, is crazy. Uh, we see that that was like a visual representation of that even though he has all those scars, that doesn't hurt as much as his parents' death. Um, as they do a flashback where we see, of course, Bruce, you know, right before Joe Chill kills his parents as a kid. Uh, we cut to a scene where we see Batgirl. Uh, Barbara Gordon is actually training. Um, and mind you, while this is all going on, there's like a news report about how three Jokers have appeared in Gotham and all commit like different crimes at the same time. And we see Barbara, of course, get pissed off and she's like headed out to obviously go and investigate. And we see a flashback scene with her in this comic book of her actually being, of course, shot by the Joker in the infamous book. And we all know what that book is. And we eventually cut scene to see Jason Todd, Red Hood, of course, another figure that was affected by the Joker. We see Red Hood um, basically getting like kicking dudes or basically Joker goons asses at a graveyard. Uh, Red Hood is just asking, where, where's the Joker? Tell me where the Joker is and of course we obviously have the infamous flashback of him getting beaten in the head with the crowbar and of course you know him basically uh, snapping out of that and of course beating the Joker's goons. Later we see that all three of these people Batman, Batgirl and the Red Hood meet up uh, when they go to the crime scene to investigate where you see three Red Hoods that are like laid out on the ground in front of the Ace Chemicals power plant. Uh, or chemical plant, and we see uh, Batman and Barbara, Barbara basically investigating it, trying to figure out why, what, what message is this? Do we see like three red hoods laid out on the ground? Later, we see um, one of the Jokers actually meet up with another Joker in a log cabin uh, after he steals a whole bunch of Ace chemicals out of the Ace chemical plant, and that's when we see the three Jokers finally actually interacting with each other, which is also kind of strange. Um, you know, uh, so they they come up with a plan that they're going to go and you know attack you know, whatever the plan is, they're gonna attack Gotham or Batman, or whoever. So towards the end of the book, we see, you know, Jason, Barbara, Batman, all investigating where these chemicals might have been stolen from. They go to the uh, uh, Gotham Aquarium and they see like Joker fish, Joker shark. Obviously the Joker's infected the, the water there. Um, of course, some more Joker goons show up, try to fight Batman, Red Hood. They defeat the goons. They actually capture one of the Jokers, which is surprising. And then that's when, like, the interesting thing about this is that Red Hood kind of picks up that this isn't the same Joker. Even though he said a lot of the same similar things, like, oh, I've beaten you in the head with a crowbar, whatever, the different type of things that he was using during his fight, like the acid flower spray, uh, the, again, the Joker fish, um, th those are like, the, I guess, you know, we even tell as readers are like, that's like the old Joker style, you know? That is not like what the new Joker, you know, they, like those are like outdated, like old school Joker, Joker, you know, tricks and stuff. So we see later like Barbara and Red Hood having one of the Jokers tied up. And this Joker tries to obviously get in Jason's head. He's saying that basically he created the Red Hood. He didn't want him to die initially. He wanted him to actually survive because supposedly the last words that Jason ever said while, right before he you know, obviously died in that explosion and beaten in the head is that Red Hood actually told the Joker like, hey, look, I want to be your Robin or something like, you know, if you let me live, I'll be your Robin. So of course, Jason reacting pulls a gun out and basically, spoiler alert, shoots the Joker and kills him, which is just a crazy scene because Barbara tries to stop him. Barbara tries to throw like a batarang and like completely misses and Jason calls her out on it saying like, yeah, you know, you know, you, when's the last time you've ever missed and stuff. So obviously Barbara wanted him to actually do it, which is even more crazy about it. And that's how the book ends. My thoughts about this issue, uh, the artwork is crazy. Um, I love that this story is involving Batman, Barbara, and Jason. 
perfect. Uh, I love the tone. I love the pace because it got right into it. You know, there's no like lean, you know, waiting for the three jokers to appear as they do appear and one of them is dead. And then, of course, the ending where Jason's like, man, I hope I killed the right one because obviously, you know, he, he, he doesn't know himself if that's truly the Joker or not. Um, I loved it. I, I'd give this book like a 10 out of 10 because, again, Jeff Johns is writing this thing. The artwork by Jason Fabak is awesome. And my thoughts are you should get it because it is fabulous. So smash the like on this video, leave a comment, and then definitely hit the subscribe button for more reviews, more comic reviews like this. Can't wait for issue number two. I'm Max Prime. Later.